mob stunning will be on a cooldown system, so uh, as to avoid, like, you know, actually infinite stunning and shit like that. Uh, it'll have cooldowns, and you can only stun a mob so many times, you know. For bosses, especially, it'll be a bit different. For bosses, we are going to have a, a stun meter. So, you know, the, the shield bar and stuff like that. So, that'll... Uh, for some bosses, we'll have uh, a shield bar. Other bosses will have an energy bar, you know. And as you hit them, like, as you do more damage and shit like that, it's going to start depleting. And when it finally hits zero, it gives you, like, a little damage window. Like, Poise in Elden Ring? Kinda? I, I don't remember how Poise works that all that well, so... I think it's it works like that. I wanted to have a pretty sharp beak. Actually, you know would be better. A cube. Fuck's sake, I hate these cubes. They always come very subdivided. This is not a toucan. Uh, yeah, it's like Critical Adventure. There will be mounts, yeah. Oh my god, it's fucking a pila bird. You're right. Hold on. We will have mounts. We will have a mount system. Like a fully fledged one. It won't be just the boat or whatever. Let's see. I mean, if Bub wants to join, feel free. Um, I just uh, don't really want to have like everyone joining at the same time and just everyone talking over each other like the last stream. That one was a bit of a mess. Actually, I'll just use a sphere. It'll probably be better. Also, yeah, the mobs look very goofy at the start. They all gotta start somewhere, you know? So... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? It's so goofy. Will be able to equip the same scroll more than once. What do you mean? I don't really understand that. Like, okay, hold on. Let me just look at the anatomy real quick. Can't just keep looking at one picture. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm just gonna keep scrolling here. I think the the scrolls will stack because they're actives, so it's just gonna be one active. Expectation is for it to come out this year because if it doesn't, I I don't know what's gonna happen to this game. I'll be honest. 
Uh, no, the bird's attacks will not be like bats. We're not going to reuse other attacks. Don't worry. What the fuck? Got a hate print, doesn't it? It does look like a duck. I am terrible with birds. I, I have found that out. Jesus Christ. This looks ugly as well, but it's got to look ugly for us for a while. It's not going to be pretty. <laughs> and this is how most mobs are made. Uh, let me get this done. Make the upper peak. A bird mount. There will be a bat mount that I want to add. Uh, no, it won't be fought above water. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it in progress. It's going to be in the golden area in the Orium Woodlands. Slowly, slowly gonna get to a beak shape. This beak is really annoying to make. This would be way thinner. Fucking bird that I hate. <laughs> Are there any actual islands you can fly to for flying mount? Uh, there's n there's not gonna be flying mounts on release. Uh, flying mounts will be for a later uh expansion of the game. Hold on. What the fuck? Why did it do that? I want it to be like a hummingbird, but it's a bit tough. Cosmetic aspect, uh, you're, I think that that's already a thing, like, uh, you being able to disable certain cosmetics and, like, enabling some slots, you know, I f I'm pretty sure that's already a thing, I'm not 100% on that, but I'll, I'll, I'll keep, I'll, I'll check it later, I, I don't know if it's in the rewrite already, oh my god, what happened here, oh, I need to, Oh. 
see here. We do plan on having a, gl a gun class, but that's going to be like later on. Uh, do mounts give you passives or more attacks, or are they just more speed? They're just for mobility. Uh, we don't want mounts to give you... What the fuck happened to the beacon? We don't want mounts to give you uh, any advantages or whatever, because that's a bit lame. Like, we want everyone to be on an equal playing field here. Did I hate this? Why does it always do this? Okay. Got an idea. I might be focusing on the head a bit too much. Uh, it'll be on a future expansion. Chest exclusive items. Um, I mean, there will be items exclu exclusive to exclusive to some types of chests. So, for example, the supercharged chests will have its own their own set of our, like armor and uh, weapons and stuff. I think we're gonna have like a few uh, different sets for different um, weather conditions. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that though. Like, we haven't really decided yet. So, what are we feeling here? Should, should I go for that beak? Or should I go for a, a shorter one? Like an eagle or something. This is way too ugly. My bird heads don't look like that. I do not know how to make beaks. Jesus fucking Christ, this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> that is not a hummingbird. Yeah, you're right. Supercharged chests are going to require keys. Yeah, you'll be able to craft them with uh, like general materials. But the items will be pretty, like, not, not necessarily end game, I'd say. More like, you know, uh, mid game. Oh, come on, dude. Why does it never work? I hate this. Just keeps doing that. What? Bro. Dude. Come on. Yeah. ZBrush is just like that. You just keep trying the same shit over and over until that suddenly decides to work. Like, see? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hide that. I could make like a just a basic ass bird and just have some fire and stuff. I don't know. Um, geometry. Will there be more sub style abilities? Yeah, we're gonna have some more. For the katana, for example, there will be like a, you know, those edgy ass, uh, you, you you pass through the enemy and then you just like sheath the katana and it does a fuck ton of damage. Yeah, something like that. So, close holes. This is the only way I can think of doing that. Starting to look more like an actual beak. Our biggest achievement? That's a good question. I can't think of, like, right now necessarily a biggest achievement i mean i guess it's getting to the point we are at you know 
uh, I think the quality is just way higher than any other CA games. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we do have a lot of potential right now. It's just a matter of, you know, actually taking it. the early game in the release be like the early game in the demo? Uh, no, no. Pretty sure it won't. There, there, there will be more enemies for early game. We have about uh, let, me, let me remember. I think it's like four five hundred and forty items in the game so far. Probably more actually. I don't know. I can't really uh, remember it right now. It is a lot. A few of them are unobtainable, but it's like at most sixty of them. I think. The quest will be the quest system is going to be overhauled. Yeah, we're going to have more dynamic quests, 100%. Like, uh, it, seriously, it's something we really need right now. Uh, yeah, because uh, th personally, I hate uh, the, the the bandit beater quests where you just go like, oh, kill X enemies or gather this stuff for me or whatever. It's so lame. It's so boring. It's like it's just tedious. I, I I personally don't want that. I don't know how F feels about that. But uh, if we're gonna have stuff like that, it'll be at most as like side quests and very small side quests that um uh, aren't really something vital for progression. They'll be like optional, completely optional. I mean, the quest system is still going to get rewritten, Gilo. Uh I don't know much about it. But we're going to have more, uh, you know, actual cutscenes, actual NPC interactions, you know. NPCs are going to move around, by the way. It's going to be pretty cool. Repeatable quests that give crowns. Uh, there will be daily quests that give crowns, yes. There is a game pass for that, for the fishing quests. Although we we're thinking of repurposing the game pass to be, to have like an actual, you know, bounty board system. But we're still thinking it through. F wanted a, a bounty system. And it's pretty. It's a pretty cool idea. Like where you'll be able to take a quest, like a a, a daily quest, and you know, like you choose what you want. I think that's what he wanted. It's been a while since we talked about this. What aspect of the game has changed the most from the demo to this point? Basically everything. <laughs> We've rewritten, we're rewriting everything. Like, the, it's not going to be like the demo. I can guarantee you that. Like, just whatever you, you saw in the demo, just throw it all away. It's it's going to be very different. Uh, the It's one of those rewrites that feels different. Like, you, even for the players, you're going to feel the difference right there. Let's see.
how many classes are in the game. So we don't have classes like the the CA games. We have styles. Um, let me think how many we have right now. So we have Pierce, Ravage, Crush, Flurry, um, Mark, Bounce. That's six already. And we have Focus. There's there's a lot. <laughs> there's probably more than ten, I'd say. There's a hundred percent more than ten actually. Let me see. I just can't remember them now. Uh, yeah, we have the weather system implemented. There's not a lot of weather, like different weather conditions right now, but we plan on adding a lot more. Right now we only have the rain, the thunder, actually, the, the thunderstorms. Uh, we've shown you it in the announcement, if I'm not mistaken. Like one of the announcements had them, had them. I think it was for the, like us announcing the rewrite. We showed everyone the, the thunderstorms. Basically, you can get hit by lightning. So it's going to be pretty funny. Uh, unique drops during different weathers. No. Also, what the fuck is going on here? What is this bot? KD bot. Can, can some mod take a look at that? Uh, let's say, ch I, I think... F wanted it to be like 75% of your health if you get hit by lightning and you get a bad, like a an achievement or a badge or something. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. So we want to have an achievement system for uh, after release, probably. Basically, you'll be able to like uh, do achievements. Like you, you do certain tasks, and you get a reward for it, and that'll contain free UGC. We're still gonna try to sort out how this is gonna how that's gonna work, because free UGC can only be limited. But it'll be only for like really hard challenges, you know. So let me get the plane going. Where the fuck is this plane? Okay, here it is. Oh. Never mind. Let me just um sure circle is gonna work. <laughs> yeah, I saw someone talking about the meta. I f I think it's a pretty interesting topic. Uh personally, like I think Metas will always be a thing in in games. There's just no escaping from that. It's just a matter of how diverse you want the meta to be. Uh, I think that's the biggest issue. Some games don't don't know how to how to manage, because like sometimes you have the meta and it's just like this thing and everyone runs this thing and no one runs anything else, you know, because this thing is just completely busted. But uh. If, if I mean a meta is just something that's gonna happen. We know that, and I mean, we've already accepted that at this point. There's not much we can do. It's a matter of making the meta diverse, of making it fun to use, uh, of giving like a lot of options. So if you want to go something that's like this meta, it works, and you want to go something else that's this other meta, it also works.
uh, fire effects will still like be the same in the rain, because that would be a bit annoying because it's a random you know thing. It's a random event, so like just nerfing fire for it existing is gonna be a bit awkward. Uh, and st status effects will have like a lot of they they'll 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 have a lot more you know diversity you'll be able to build into them and stuff like that because of how they're gonna be set up now. So hold on, let me go to C modeler. And all polygons. No, it's, actually, it's over here. Extrude. Then we go to. Will Queen B be on release? No. Queen B is going to be after release. Uh, we're going to add the dungeon system right after release. It won't be too long, by the way. Just don't don't worry about it. Like we'll be able to once we get going, we'll be able to to start cooking really hard. Oh Jesus Christ! Hold on. Let me change the dynamesh resolution. About that. Actually, let's just go zero measure. There we go. How many hours of gameplay? Uh, so far, from one of our testers, and he, like he tryharded the shit out of the game. It's uh. 19 hours, I think, like 20 hours for a casual player. But that's with the old quests we had, so... We want to... do something different. We want to have, like, more... uh, like, cooler quests in general. Wait, what? This is off. Oh, why is it off? Damn. A hundred percent the game? I don't think you can a hundred percent it. Honestly. If you could it would take a long time. Cause there's a lot of RNG involved. Uh release during or after summer. Uh, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> I can't really speak much about the release because I, I know just as much about about it as you guys. It's not looking good right now. Like, I'm just going to level with you guys in terms of us getting an actual release date. There's still a lot that needs to be done. No, there won't be any style upgrades or evolutions or whatever. Actually, I should hmm. maybe not have it like this. Maybe I shouldn't T-pose this thing. It's going to be hell to animate if it isn't. Hybrid styles? No, there won't be hybrid styles. There will be hybrid play styles. So there will be weapons that allow you to use hybrid. Uh, there's going to be equipment for hybrid and all that stuff. Yeah, there is an item that gives more arrows per hit on Mark. Enchantment system? Uh, you can suck at gems. So I don't know if you played the demo, but you know how you would get enchants on certain weapons? Uh, now we've scrapped that entire idea of having gems on weapons because that's a bit lame. 
and we went we're going with uh gems and basically you'll be getting gems from bosses and chests and dungeons and stuff like that and yeah it, 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 you're going to be able to just socket them into whatever equipment you want and you'll be getting like the effects of what would basically be an enchant except you'll have w much more control over it Will there still be beetles? I think so. I don't know. I personally hate the beetles. <laughs> There's way too many of them. But uh, there probably will be one or two. Is the game going to have mobile support? Yes. Yes, it will. Uh, it's kind of looking like a vulture right now. What do you guys think of it? Like a fire vulture? That would be pretty cool, right? Uh, what? What is that, a phoenix? What do you mean? A vulture isn't a phoenix, bro. Come on. How long is the stream gonna last? Honestly, I have no idea, Jared. Uh, could it could last however long I want. To be honest, I, I really don't know. What's this bot that people keep trying to use? What does it even do? Is it like a music bot or something? I've never seen it before. Let's see. I just got ping. Who pinged me? That's here. What? Okay, there we go. Wait, so it's a bot only for text to speech. What's the. Why do we have that? What the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ. Where are our mods, bro? This moderator team sucks. Damn. Mods. Can we kill him, please? Can we kill this man? What's next after the dungeon system? Uh, so we plan to have like a little uh, quest line, just content in general, you know, like a, it's gonna be the, the Zardon quest line. So a lot we need to figure out though, like after, after that, There would be a storyline or something similar. Yes, we'll have a storyline. Oh, what the hell? Any any plans for like a schedule or something for updates after release? Uh, kinda. We still haven't figured out figured out the release itself, so it's a bit hard to schedule for stuff after it. But we have an idea on things we want to add after release. You know, to just keep the content flowing.
how long would it take to have a really good build with good prefixes and suffixes? I have no idea. I wish I could answer you, but honestly, I have no clue how much how long it would take. A good while. It depends. It all depends on luck. You can maybe get it on the on your first rolls or whatever, or you can just get completely fucked and just never get it. Are gilded enemies still a thing? Yeah. Um, is it much harder to get a really good build compared to the demo? Well, it depends a lot because, like, the demo good builds were like what mid, early to mid game right now, on the the full release. So, like, what you considered good was pumpkin items, I guess. But we're probably going to release before Halloween or after Halloween. I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope it's not after, but uh, if, if, if we do release before, it's going to be it's going to be a bit more difficult to get a good build. Uh, voice actors? No, I don't have any plans to have voice acting in the game. I think voice acting in in Roblox is a bit weird, because like it's either the the person who made the game or like one of the devs or whatever, and like it it's just really hard to find a good voice actor. We will have custom music though, like custom soundtracks and stuff like that. Uh, we do plan on revamping all of the music we have right now. Like slowly, uh, we're definitely not gonna be able to get everything done by release, but uh, we'll try to get as much as possible. Like just a few tracks would be already really cool. Uh, Will there be a way to grind for prefixes and suffixes easily? Well, prefixes are, are they aren't really grindable. You just like you you get them based on the stats of your of your item. But we will have a system that allows you to re-roll suffixes and like the item itself. If I'm not mistaken, so it'll make it a bit easier. But it'll be kind of hard to get the the currency for it because you know we don't want it to be too easy. Yeah, there will be lore. We'll have a an itempedia. So basically you'll be able to keep track of everything you've met at that point in the game. So like whatever you find, whatever you discover, you're gonna be able to keep track of it. And there will be like little lore pieces for basically everything, I think. Like there's just a few things that really don't need to be expended upon that much. But uh it's gonna be pretty lore rich. I hope. Any more stages of development you plan to be have between now and the full release? Uh, what do you mean by that? Like anything that we need to develop or like any new tests or whatever in that case i don't think so we don't have anything planned right now although uh seconds i'm not i'm not entirely against a second test honestly uh maybe something like how voxel blade did it and just leave it open for like a few days or whatever just just so people can test the, the new mechanics
Wait, I saw something here. Second C or third C? No. I don't plan to have anything like that. What's one big thing that's making development difficult? Consistency. Uh, our lead dev is just very inconsistent. It's really hard to to develop. Because he's the one who basically carries all the stuff that is like very important for the game, like the core and the infrastructure and all that stuff. So like when he's away, we're basically just sitting idle waiting for him to come back. Because there's not much we can do. We have other scripters, but they just... It's just like... Either they already have work, or they just can't do it. Well, areas like Ehoda or Skysail will be added much after release? I think so. Uh, we... we what I think should be the time frame would be like six months at most, maybe like half, yeah, like half a year, I'd say, is like the average wait time. There, there will be between like the major expansions. But uh, we'll we'll have content updates in the in between those expansions, so don't you worry. There will be a lot to play <laughs> while you wait for those. Any other style reworks? Uh, we'll have a Link rework, probably. Uh, really want to touch up on Link, because it felt really underpowered compared to the other styles. And I know no one has it, but th there probably will be a, a rework to stuff like to un some unobtainable stuff that some people manage to get, like Guide. I don't know if anyone knows about Guide, to be honest. Nope. Unironically, F is working on a uh, skibbity toilet game. It's rough. <laughs> it ain't easy being a CW dev. Will there be any rewards for playing the demo? No. There won't. Like, aside from the pumpkin stuff, there won't be any rewards for playing the demo itself. There will be rewards for the stress test, though. So if you played that, you'll be getting some stuff. It'll be the stuff you already got, I think. Like the... The crown. I think it was the, the, the tester crown, if I'm not mistaken. It was something. I know you guys got something from... The, the stress tests. The, will the pumpkin come back next Halloween? Yeah. Uh, I personally want to have like a few reworks for the Halloween and for events in general to have them more like actual events instead of just, you know, we added a new boss, go kill it. Like just have actual more interactive stuff. Yeah. 
kind of want to have a Christmas event. Uh, still gonna figure out what boss is gonna be in it, but uh. I'm gonna say this kind of out of the blue for the people who are still sticking around. Uh, I'm just gonna give a little bit more emphasis on the dungeon system. So the dungeons will have like little buffs throughout it. Let me actually pull up the dock because that's gonna be pretty. It's a bit in depth. So let me explain it to you guys. Hold on. Yeah. So, like, dungeons will be on will be based on floors, and at the end of every floor, there's gonna be like a what we call an encounter, you know. So each encounter will be something different. So something like a puzzle or a mini boss, uh, or just the final boss itself. And after each encounter, excluding the final boss, of course, you're going to be getting a, a, something we call a boon. And these boons give you buffs for the duration of the, the dungeon itself. So, and like you can choose which boon you want to get, you know. So, and, and each boon is going to have like its own specific little set of stats that it gives to you, little buffs, you know, maybe some unique passive or something, uh, just so you can survive more in the in the dungeon. Uh, there will also be limited revives for the dungeons. So, like, when you die, you won't actually just instantly respawn. You'll instead leave, like, a little grave, and other people can revive you. But that's going to cost, like, a revive token. So you got to really manage it properly, or else you're going to run out of those tokens, and basically you're, you get wiped in the dungeon. So you just get taken back to the start. Uh, I do want to have uh, an infinite mode for dungeons. That's something that I really want to see, because that's going to be really cool. Like having some way to infinitely grind a dungeon, and it gets harder and harder as you go further and further. That would be really awesome. I love this type of stuff. Will the pumpkin badge from 2023 give the pumpkin armor and head like the 2022 badge? Uh, honestly, we don't really know exactly what it's going to give. We haven't really figured it out yet. Uh, but we're going to make a cosmetic for it, 100%. Uh, so, actually, let me do something first. <laughs> God damn. Okay. Hold on. Have you guys considered opening up a Patreon or something? Yeah, we were discussing that a while ago, actually. Uh, we were thinking of opening up a Patreon or a coffee or whatever it's called. I, I forgot. And But the thing is, we still don't really know if we're going to go through with it. F is making good money with the, his other games, so we're not exactly sure if it's going to be something that is absolutely necessary. And there's a lot of stuff that we're going to need to consider, like Roblox TOS and stuff like that. It's going to be a bit rough. Actually, let me do this. And then... Let 
Oops. Wrong one. Um, actually. Masking. There we go. Then we can split this. I'm gonna watch some magic that I have never done before. <laughs> okay. Then from here, I'm gonna merge down. Just increase the resolution a bit. Okay, this did not work. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn. Okay, hold on. This is fixable by just deleting everything. Kill everything. Um, what is it? Del hidden. Okay, then we just go over here, delete this. And we close the holes. Awesome. It all worked out in the end. We'll have to put the eyes back in their sockets, but it's not an issue. see any more questions which aspect of the game are you most proud of currently i think everything to be honest there's really no specific aspect i am personally most proud of i am proud as hell of the game uh i'm proud as hell of the, the people working on it of course there's the problems here and there but look, we're doing a really good job this is something i never expected it to get to this scope you know I never expected it to be this of this quality. And I think it'll be pretty enjoyable for you guys. I can't really speak for anyone, but I mean, I personally really enjoy working on it. And if it's bad, we'll figure it. We'll we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. If it's bad, we'll fix it. Like I, I don't care how much it takes. It's it's a game that I'm really passionate about. In-game cutscenes besides bosses. Uh, what do you mean? Like just cutscenes in general? Yeah, we'll have more. We'll have cutscenes. We'll have uh, cutscenes that aren't bosses. That that's for sure. A uh, brief area overview cutscene when you first enter a new place. Uh, I think it's going to be a bit annoying after a while. I'm not too sure on that. I think that can get like really, really, really annoying if you think like they're exploring a lot of areas. Are you afraid that there's a long way to release players who have high expectations from the game? Yeah. Uh, I think everyone is a bit tired at this point of, you know, waiting for this. And we are we are equally as tired as you guys. Honestly, this this needs to release. I am I am pissed. 
I am really annoyed right, like with how this is being handled, but that's something for uh, another time. But uh, yeah. Uh, I, I believe we're gonna meet the expectations at least. It's not gonna be some like a a disappointment. Of course, some people will have like massive expectations of like a triple A game or whatever, and that's not going to, what's gonna be delivered. We still gotta think that we're in Roblox, you know. There's limitations, and we we gotta work within them. Oh, he mad. <clears throat> What is one aspect of the game you would change if you could? Um, maybe the old mobs? I'm not sure. They're, they're like so, There's some enemies that I'm really not satisfied. Because I, I, I made all of the enemies in CW. Like, practically all of them. Only, like, the fox and the slime weren't made by me. And some of them are from, like, 2020. <laughs> so... It's uh, some of them are a bit rough. Like if you if you if you need to know the golem, for example, it was made back in 2020. He really stood the test of time. That's it's not an enemy that I'm that I that I want to change. To be honest, it, it was it's genuinely a good design. Okay, I'll try to do this again. This time, try to do it a bit. No, no, no. <laughs> he looks so goofy. Oh my god! <laughs> Normal, and then boom. Okay, I'll just keep it like this. I'll figure something out later. And then I'll um actually know what I can do. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. Sphere. Oh, actually, no, not a sphere. I know exactly what to do. I just don't know if it's going to look good. Random events. We had the idea of having, uh, like, world events a long time ago. Like, really long time ago. Like, you're, you're, you're tapping into ancient stuff right here. But uh, it was never expended upon. But we do want to have uh, another look at it because I we think it's a really cool idea to have like world events. Let me just. Oh boy, this is a mess to work with. These tubes, bro. Come on, I, I want to move the, the top one, not this dinky ass bottom one. Okay. So let me just go ahead and just change this real quick. Curve modifiers. And curve snap distance can go really small. Actually, this should be on the. Hmm. No, never mind. It can be over here. What the fuck, bro? I'm clicking somewhere and it's just not going in the place I want to change. Okay. Alright, that's good. Then we can split.
group split over here. It looks like he's got makeup on now. Let's see. See Daisy. Oh boy, that's gonna be bad. Um, shit, that was an accident. Auto groups. Okay, perfect. Then we can just split this again. So do we have this? Uh, split unmasked points. Split masked points. Where is the split option? Should be somewhere right here. Go object. Wow, that really is none. Yeah, I live right next to the to the fire station and the police station, so it's rough. At least it's safe. Secret style? No, there won't be secret styles. We want to have uh, some styles that are unique, but we don't want to have like secret styles, you know. So some styles like uh, are gonna have some weapons are only gonna are gonna have like one style, and that style is only gonna be is gonna be exclusive to the weapon. So uh, there's gonna be a weapon in the dungeon, for example, in the B dungeon, that's gonna be like that. So we want to have stuff like that, but nothing like a secret style or something. Maybe a secret item, but that's really stretching it. No, the styles won't be statues. The styles are tied to weapons. Uh... Oh, that actually looks good. Hold on, I may have cooked. It looks a bit baked, but it's something we can fix. I want to have maybe some like cool feathers on the on its head. There is a Trello uh, for the game that's going to release after we release the game. It's been it's made by some of our testers, so and like we've been working with them directly. So yeah, you'll be able to check the Trello out after a few days after the release. We don't want to release the Trello right away because we think that takes away a bit of the you know. The whole process of exploring and finding stuff out. We really want to see all the videos and stuff that people, and uh, all the, the you know the, the things people find out in the game. It's gonna be pretty cool. No class evolution system. No, I don't plan on having any of that. Well, I mean, exploration is part of the what what the game is primarily. So, like, even if they know there's a Trello, if they don't, they, if they want to wait for it, they just don't won't play the game basically because the whole game is about exploring. Yeah, the class statues have something of the lore. They are tied to the lore. I'm just gonna say that. I think the lore is in a pretty is pretty cool. I mean, I made it, but you know, you 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 understand me. I think it's 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 fine. <laughs> totally a non biased opinion. I like where this bird is going, honestly. 
might uh, I just might have to a pose so like T pose him. So instead of having these wings closed, they need to be like open. So you need to go like hold on, I need to move them or else they're gonna merge. They need to be like this. So I'm gonna need to make the the wings separate. Oh, actually that kinda works. I could do something like this. I can already get an idea for the wings. It's actually pretty cool. So let me go ahead and make the wings. Is there a story? Yeah, there's a story. So guild system. We'll have a guild system in the future, yes. Uh, so we want to have some stuff like guild bases and, you know, just being able to, uh, have guild leaderboards, stuff like that. Just not stuff like, you know, PVP, because it's not really something we can implement into a CA game. It just really doesn't work on crit with the, the combat and all that stuff. But we can have a bit of competition between guilds in terms of like leaderboards. That's going to be pretty cool. Okay, I think that's a pretty good shape. I like that. Let me just... Uh, almost forgot about this. Maybe something like this. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Which is a bit misaligned. Oh, hold on. Is there a weapon with different styles? No. That would be hell to bounce. Uh... And we don't want a weapon that that's like a jack of all trades because people would just flock to that. Uh, I do believe we should have some easy to use weapons and some easy to use styles in the same way that Pierce was very easy to use, you know, which is not as rewarding as Pierce as Pierce, but uh, not a weapon you know, on its own. Is progression linear? Uh, not really, no. You'll be able to uh, choose whatever path you want to take in terms of progression. Like, you can level up any way you want, honestly. Uh, following the main quest is is going to be pretty pretty helpful, I think. It's going to be, like, the best way to level. But you can just grind mobs or farm or whatever, or just, like, you know, do... Uh, uh, side quests or just fish. You can even do fishing, honestly. You can mine. You can do. You can just do whatever. It's an MMORPG, you know. You should be able to do this type of stuff. Oh, jeez. Okay, I almost forgot about this part. Will there be loot bombs and XP bombs like in Windcraft? Yes, there will. A speci very specific question, and surprisingly, there will be. Uh, I love their bomb system because it's not really pay to win. 
you're just like helping the entire server instead of just yourself, you know. So yeah, we we'll have bombs. Uh, they'll do their own specific things in in CW. Like there'll be bombs bombs for more for different stuff than in what, what there is in Windcraft, but. Pumpkin didn't have weapons for all styles. Was not have a weapon for every style and release? Uh, no, no. He won't, because there will be other end game bosses that will have different weapons for different styles. So we don't see the need of having every weapon available for from this specific enemy. You know, uh, you'll be able to find other bosses and do other content that will give you some weapons. Like, uh, and if we see that there's a weapon that's lacking, like there's just there's just a weapon that's a bit, uh, you know, it's just not as good. Like the best weapon from that type is just not as good as uh, the best weapons from other types. We'll a hundred percent be investing some time into making more weapons for that style. We want all styles to be viable, and we want like there are a bunch of different play styles to branch off from them. Will there be anything to do in the ocean apart from visiting islands? Yes, there will. There's a massive ocean trench, and I mean we're still figuring out what we're putting inside of it. I personally want a big ass shark that just hunts you down in there and you can't fight it it just kills you instantly if it spots you but uh there will be chests in there and there will be like ocean specific loot that you'll be able to get from that area uh we do plan to we do plan to have more stuff related to to oceans but that'll be after release cuz it's a bit hard It's a bit hard to work with the ocean. Uh, we, there, 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 it's, it's a, it's, it's a very tough balancing process because there is uh, a lot of stuff that goes in there, like corals and seaweed and all that veg vegetation. It really weighs down on the game in terms of performance. So we really need to be careful with that stuff. Oh, what the fuck? How did this not? I guess I can just do that. Yeah. Will there be personal lens where you can customize them? No. There will be houses, though. There will be a housing a housing system where uh you'll be able to like you know buy your house and uh there. Will... So we're moving the storage system to housing. Uh, I don't think we announced this before, but yeah, the, the storage system is going to be moved to housing and different houses will have different amounts of storage. So a house in Petrosport will have less storage than a house in uh, Redhold, for example. And like as you progress in the game, you get more storage space. We have the option to be in two or more guilds at once. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm not. I haven't really seen too much of the guild system yet. I don't really know how what what exactly they the, the devs want for the guild system. I'm, I'm really not very tied to it. But uh, I'm pretty sure no. I'm pretty sure you won't be able to be in more than one guild. Uh, will the storage game game pass be the same? Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm actually gonna ask F now that you brought this up because that's actually pretty important. If he can make it so the storage game pass will you know he will give you uh and like the same amount of storage space as your most recent. Actually, what am I talking about? Of course, it's gonna do that. Uh, but it it probably will give some extra storage space as well. 
because just that is going to be a bit weird. Will there be enemy variants? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll have a lot of fox variants. <laughs> there, there's a lot of uh, different fox colors and, you know. Uh, let me think of other enemies that have variants so far. I think, like, in terms of uh, the variants we have right now, it's just foxes, but we can have more, like, the slimes and stuff. Uh, it's just that, like, for the code that was written, we only had the the foxes. Can you customize mounts? No. No. Uh, basically, there will be like three types of mounts initially. Uh, well, not initially. Initially, there's going to be like only two, which will be the C mount and the ground mount. So there's going to be like three types of mounts. So it's going to be ground, C, and uh, flying. And the mounts you get, they're going to be like skins for these base types of mounts. So uh, basically, you're going to be equipping those those mounts and they'll be just doing whatever you know so if you have a flying mount you can just equip the flying mount and it's just gonna you know let you fly but uh you won't be able to customize it you know all right what are you guys thinking of the bird right now i kind of dig it i mean we got the shapes in at least I am very slow in terms of like sculpting. It takes a really long time for me to finish stuff. But uh, in the end, of it, uh, all I try to do is to make it look good. So. Actually, that is not how legs work. I just noticed. Let me just do something real quick. Uh, I need to move the legs. I forgot that the legs have, you know, stuff. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Let me just see if I can... Oh, no. Oh, they fucking merged. Oh, that is terrible. Wait, what? No, they didn't. Why is it doing that? Oh, it's because of this. I forgot. Okay, there we go. There'll be more game passes. Uh, I can't think of any new game passes, to be honest. But there probably will be as we, you know, add more stuff to the game. Farming systems? Uh, farming would be pretty cool. It's not something off the list, honestly. Uh, it could be added. It's just not something we have planned right now. I like the idea, though. Being able to farm. Also, cooking. Cooking would be really cool. I'd love a cooking system, like an actual cooking system that's not just crafting. So, I think I'm going to call it for today. Uh, I did quite a bit of progress, honestly, on this bird. I'll make sure to post it when it's finished. It's going to look so much different. Like, it's not going to look as goofy as right now. Trust me. But, uh, yeah. 
I'm gonna call it for today. We've, we've been talking for quite some time. So let me stop sharing my screen. All right. Uh, see you guys. I'll probably host some other Q and A later on as we get more stuff done and as we post more stuff in the progress. Hopefully, we get another progress post. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the composer has been finishing up the main theme of the game. So, yeah. When I get done, I'm gonna post it in in progress, like always. All right. So, see you all. Thanks for coming. Okay. Uh, thoughts are very brief, don't worry. There's going to be not a lot, actually, that was inter um, not a lot that we don't already know that you said there. Um, I liked the part of them saying that there's going to be 20 hours of content if you speedrun, which is very nice to hear. I also heard of... I didn't write down a lot of notes because I was kind of sleeping. I just came up with work or something. I'm like... Um, but overall, I will probably not make a um, a recap of everything that's in this Q and A for a while because number one, uh, I kind of uploaded like a month ago, and I don't want to just keep uploading saying like, "Hey, it's close to release, close to that." But one thing I would like to add is that I don't think it's releasing anytime soon, unfortunately. Considering he said that, it would not be surprised if it takes a very long time. There's more things they want to add. It's kind of like Fantastic Frontier, which literally said a while ago that, um, that finally, when they when they, when they, they said finally that they here we're almost there. And they have a list of things that they need to finish up and then they're done. So I can't wait. Oh, so ping me. What do they want? I can't wait for the game to come out, but I guarantee you that it's not coming anytime soon anymore, so maybe the title for my last video was misleading for Countless Worlds. And if you're wondering, if for some reason you're a fan, which I've never had a actual fan on this channel, that will have you know that I am releasing a part two of, because this game has just uploaded another video on, on Rolling Giant, I'm uploading a part two soon. I've got my script, I've recorded it all, I've just not bothered and never had time to edit. But yeah. That's coming soon, and I cannot wait for this game to come out. Should I sh uh, let me share a few things, because I'm going to share a few things that I have that uh, I haven't shown y'all yet in terms of this game. Right, so here's the first thing that is, maybe you should subscribe, maybe you should subscribe. Next thing, <laughs> uh, so this is the thing that was uploaded uh, that um Billy uploaded <coughs> in general a little bit ago. This said it was Cutlass Worlds, I think. Touch everybody art style. Um then what was one that I saw what is this one? This one looks very nice. There's nothing much else to it though. Uh what is this? Oh, I know what this is. So then we got this. This is one of those very surprising. This is very cool. So we've actually seen this before. If you look at my previous posts on the Aryan Woodlands, you would see this tent right here. I'm, I'm circling with my mouse. has been seen before. And they're adding the bird nest. The same bird nest that you're probably seeing the bird that we're seeing now. It's going to be added there. Uh, I can't wait for this. And neither can you. Sorry for the yawn. But yeah. That's gonna be it! Um, 
Anyone wanna say anything to YouTube? I just felt that very right. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you mean we've been lied to? What did I still? That wasn't me that was lying, hopefully. At least not intentionally. Uh, but yeah, I'll try to be better editor, man, alright? I'm learning. Shut up. I was just gonna say. There's a single screw. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna head to college now.